In this video, I will be going through the changes that Subtlety Rogue got in the Cataclysm expansion. Before going any further, I would like to mention that only 17% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed. If you like my content and want to support my work, please consider subscribing. With that being said, let's get into the topic. The subject I'm going to be covering is the new talents and glyph system, changed abilities, reforges, rotation, professions, and some tricks that I have at the end of the video. For talents and glyphs, this is going to be what you're running with. Prime glyphs are very important towards the spec. Backstab and hemorrhage are a must-have. Slice and dice could be changed, but it's kind of there to increase the duration, so you don't lose it out too much. But there is some other things you can use to increase your DPS if you believe in your uptimes. Major glyphs are not as relevant. Repression is just there for looks. Paint is nice to have in case you want to use it for a big mechanic. Tricks of the trade is not going to be used until the next phases because right now it's a waste of energy and in general it's a waste of ability to use. Obviously when you glyph it you don't lose out on any energy but it's useless for now. Here's the few notable changes that you have in your talent system. Serotid Blaze is a really nice change for the class. Since now every time you use a rupture into a 5 combo point eviscerate, you're going to be always refreshing that rupture. Keep in mind that if you use it with a 4 pointer, you will not refresh the rupture, so it has to be 5 combo points. Honor Among Thieves has changed to be a raid wide buff for everyone. It's going to be giving 5% crit and at the same time gives you a combo point every time someone else crits or you crit in the raid. Shadow Dance is the same thing. You just get into a state of using invisibilities and gaining fine weakness out of every ambush you use. Basically, the way you want to play this spec is that whenever you ambush, you give a debuff to the target only for yourself, which is really important towards your spec. While this happening, you have to keep in mind that recuperate S and D have to be up. Rupture needs to not fall off. Therefore, during shadow dances, you're going to be using ambush into eviscerates if you have to. And if recuperate and SND is dropping, you give it time, let Shadow Dance actually fall off while you're ambushing. You need to push out at least three ambushes per Shadow Dance minimum for it to be valuable. And after that, you're going to be refreshing your SND and recuperate. Obviously, try to not be in that situation ever to have to refresh them during that, but that's the gameplay. Subtlety as a spec is probably one of the most complicated rotations out there. So for starters, you're going to be having your pre-med on cooldown so you can get your 5 combo points. Mainly, you want to have this for your SND. Recuperate needs to be done after that. I usually like to do pre-med into SND and while pre-med is going off cooldown, I use it great as you can see right here. I wait for the pre-med cooldown, recuperate. And I have a macro for my ambush where I use shadow step into ambush, which is increasing the damage of my ambush because it's a talent point so for the rotation as far as it goes it's all about find weakness uptime for the bursts as i said your rupture is going to be refreshed by your eviscerate anyways so you don't have to worry about it at all all you need to do is to make sure that find weakness stays up on full duration so shadow dance in general is only going to do damage by a lot trinkets and procs Therefore, you want to be pairing up all the procs that you have with that. I suggest using Essence of the Cyclone and Esters at the same time for subtlety. Here I use the Edge Vendor Trinket just to test it out. You also want to use the Glove Enchant and maybe the Portion of Tolver with Shadow Dance. But as far as it goes, the way you want to play subtlety is you want to keep Hemorrhage, SND, Recuperate and Rupture all at the same time. While having a good find weakness uptime every one minute. When Shadow Dance comes off cooldown. Keep in mind whenever you use preparation, Manage goes off cooldown. Therefore, you can pull energy and just use Ambush into the Vanish. This is only possible if you have clear target on the Vanish, so whenever you use it, you don't instantly hit the target again. Get out of Vanish before you can ambush the target. If you're going to be playing subtlety and assassination only through this expansion, I would suggest going with tailoring as the cloak enchant is actually really nice. It's not as bad as people think because assassination and subtlety have a very weird burst duration. And for subtlety, it's the best one since shadow dance is only lasting a minute duration, which means every time that you're going to be shadow dancing, you're going to have the cloak enchant as well, which is great for your uptime. But obviously, in the coming patches, we're going to have new gems that we can use. So blacksmithing will shine a little bit brighter than the other professions. It's not going to be as big, so if you're struggling with gold, maybe don't do that. It's not as big of a deal. Tailoring is great. I have jewel crafting on my main since 
a long time so I haven't swapped it out yet but I will go back to tailoring or blacksmithing depending on the spec I want to play. For now my plan is to stick to combat for the rest of the expansion because that's the spec I love. But I would suggest going with tailoring and engineering and max your shadow dance if you're going to be playing subtlety for a long time. Unfortunately I don't have wads for subtlety so this will do. Here's a pretty easy understanding breakdown of how subtlety works. So for pre pull, as I said, 3x meditations, SND, meditation again, and recuperate. You're going to want to open with the macro I will give you in the description, which is stealth, shadow step, ambush. Builders are going to be hemorrhage for once every 25 seconds. Backstab as a normal builder if you can't ambush. Finishers are going to be rupture which is obviously only once, into 5 combo point eviscerates. If you don't do the 5 combo points on both of these abilities, eviscerate will not refresh rupture. The end goal is to keep up these buffs at all costs, which is recuperate and SND, and rupture on the target. The reason you're gonna do damage is find weakness uptime. During shadow dance you wanna do as many ambushes as you can. You also can manipulate vanish for more ambushes. Remember to use shadow step before the ambush or just use the macro that I will give you for even more fine weakness uptimes. Also during doing all of that you wanna pair up trinket cooldowns, synapse, sword guard embroidery, potion cooldown with shadow dance and bloodlust preferably. Here's some of the things that I know that you guys might not. Mastery actually affects your SND which means you could have the two set from tier 4 and tier 6. You can also have pieces with mastery. I suggest not doing them with cloak, gloves, belt obviously for rocket boot in case you want that, and trinkets, since mastery pieces are going to replace these items and you're going to put them on ICD, which you don't want that. Therefore, you can only do this with items like these, where they don't have any ICD or any contribution towards your character in terms of usage mid combat but yeah you guys can abuse snd even more pre-pull with premeditation and get a lot more value out of snd as long as someone doesn't ask pull the boss and you can pull off the mastery set and swap it out before the combat the last thing i want to talk about which affects your rotation by a lot is honor among thieves the rotation you saw me doing in this video is me alone on a dummy which means i will not crit every two seconds therefore i will have less combo points compared to you in a raid so rotations with a dummy and the raid atmosphere is going to be very different i suggest you guys trying it out in the raids yourselves and see how it feels you're going to have a lot more combo points you will not have many issues with recuperate and ascend the uptimes because every two seconds you're going to have an extra combo point out of nowhere because someone critted or you critted so it's amazing this spec only comes with practice you can't really master this unless you do some raids with it but that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it there is an assassination guide that's coming soon which i will include in this video at the end screen as well so go ahead and watch that one if you like to and i will see you guys in the next one